guys, welcome back to another workout here. So a senior class today, all you're gonna need is a type of resistance band. It does not have to look like this. Maybe you have one from physical therapy, one without handles. That's okay, all you need is some type of band to do this workout. If you don't have a band um, and you're interested in buying one, they're really cheap to buy online. You can get them at Walmart, wherever, super cheap. Um, and they're a great staple to have around your house because you can do a lot of different things with them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. You do not need your band for the warm-up. Um, we're just gonna do a little standing warm-up without the band. All right, who is ready to rock and roll? We're gonna get going here. So I want you just to face me, and we're just gonna start by marching in place. So nice and light on those feet. I'm using my arms just to kind of get whole body nice and warm. Roll those shoulders forward for me. So just roll them up and around. Doesn't have to be really fast. We're just gonna focus on really squeezing those shoulder blades up and back. And reverse direction, other way, squeeze back, good. Make sure you're breathing, chest is lifted. Two more here, here's one. And two feet are still moving. Give me those hands open and close. So just tight fist and then open, good. Well, you're starting to feel the blood flow through those legs and those hands. Two more here. That's one and two. Arms at those sides. Good. All right. I want you to widen that stance. Just a little wide march here. Really use those arms at your sides to pump for five, four, three, two, and back in. So regular march. Good. All right. We're going to take those hands chest tight here, push to the front, and then to the sides, okay? So together to the front and to the sides. Good, feet are still moving, working on coordination, doing a couple things at once here. Gotta really make that brain work to move those arms and those legs, good. We're gonna do two more sets. Here's one, and here's two. Arms at those sides and widen that stance. So back to that wide march, really over exaggerate it here. Pull it in for five, four, three, two, and bring it back in. Good. All right, back to some arms. This time, hands go here. We're going to press up and then to the front, okay? So shoulder press up and chest press reach to the ceiling and reach to me. Good. We're going to do a couple more here. Still breathing well. Keep that chest lifted. Give me two more. Here's one and two. Arms at those sides. Feet are still moving. Widen that march. Good. All right. This next one we have not done before. So you're going to keep your feet here. Maybe you've watched me this first time. So you're gonna go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So whenever you're ready, I want you to join me. Good, you get to pick your pace. As always, if you've watched my videos before, I always tell you if I'm too fast, slow it down. If I'm too slow, speed it up. Couple more here. Make sure you're breathing, arms are really swinging. Pumping at those sides. One more, here's out, out, in, in, out, stay out, good. All right, feet are gonna go flat, so relax those feet. Keep them wide out, toes are pointed towards me, okay? I want you to do a little knee bend and press up, okay? So bend those knees and up. It's not a full squat, we just bend and then press up. You're thinking about squeezing those inner thighs together, so zipping up through the middle of your legs. Good, we're gonna do two more. Here's one, and hold this one down. So bend those knees, hold down. I want you to lift your right heel, put it down. Lift your left heel, put it down. Right, and left, right, and left. Two more here, here's right, and left. One more set, right, and left. Stand tall, bring those feet in here. Feet are a little closer together. I want you to press up through all 10 of those toes. 
come down, lift right leg, left leg, okay? So together we go up, down, lift, lift. All right, so warming up our calves, working a little bit on balance. Your knee does not have to go as high as mine. So just bring it up as high as you feel comfortable. Always hold on to something if you need to, that's okay. Hopefully that heart rate's starting to climb. Do two more sets, here's one. On this next one, I want you to hold that right leg up for four, three, two, put it down and switch, hold it for four, three, two, rest. All right, are we feeling warm? Hopefully we are. Grab yourself a quick drink of water, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started with that band. All right, so grab that exercise band, and we are gonna start with it underneath your feet. So, underneath one foot is gonna make it a little easier. If it's really easy, put both feet over it. I'm just gonna start with one. So, here's what we're gonna do. It's a little bit of coordination, all right? Okay, so, well, we actually won't do it. Just put one foot on there, sorry. And so if you have two feet on there, just do one foot because you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna tap it out to the side, come back and curl, okay? So your left foot's on that band, right foot's out. Are you ready? In three, two, right here. So take your foot out, in, curl. Out, in, curl. Notice you do not have to bend your knees, it's just a step and curl, all right? So nothing too crazy. I'm just kind of making you work that brain and telling yourself to step and curl. We're gonna do five more here. Here's one, and two, three to go. This is three. Try and step out as far as you can. Four, and five, good. All right, we're gonna go to shoulders. Keep that left foot on that band. You're gonna take your right arm and go out to the side and then switch arms, so left, all right? This one's a little harder, so if you cannot go as high as me, that's okay. You wanna be nice and controlled, using that core to just move those arms, all right? So, you're not here, right? You're going nice and controlled. The only thing that's moving is your arm. Almost there. We're gonna do two more each side. This is one, and this is two. Good, shake it out. Take that band out, switch feet. So now it's gonna go underneath that right foot, which means you're gonna go back to that left foot. You're gonna go over, in, curl. So join me when you're ready. We step, in, curl. Good. We're gonna do eight more together. So that was number two. And remember, try and step as far over as you can. Good, just those arms are moving when you do that bicep curl. You're halfway there. Make sure you're breathing. This is seven. And eight. Here's nine. And 10. Keep that foot on that band. This time we're gonna go to front raises. So working a different part of that shoulder. You're gonna go right arm to the front, left arm to the front, all right? So join me when you're ready. It's the same as the side raise. You're trying not to swing that body into it, right? It's just that arm moving. You can always limit the range of motion, so you don't have to go as high. You go wherever's comfortable, all right? Good, couple more sets here. We're gonna do two more each side. One more here. And relax, good. Take that band out from underneath your foot. All right, grab yourself a quick drink of water, all right? And then we'll go to some new exercises. Okay, so you're gonna start with the band. You're gonna loop it through like a bracelet or just hold on about shoulder width apart, okay? So you're gonna do a back step with a pull. So from the side, you're gonna have your arms out here. You're gonna take your right leg, 
step back, in, pull. So we'll go back, in, pull. So just that right leg is gonna go back. I'm gonna face you so that you can see me, okay? So you're here. We're gonna take it back, step, pull. Option B is to go back and bend and then come up and pull. So it's a little harder. You get to choose which one you would like to do, okay? Doesn't have to be a big bend. Wherever you're comfortable. Good, we're gonna do four more together. Really squeeze those shoulder blades back together, all right? Two more here. This is three. And this is four. Good. Lower those arms, kind of give your shoulders and your back a little bit of rest here. The next thing you do, we're going to do, <clears throat> so you're going to have it over your head. You can't fully see me here. So over your head, you're going to bring your right arm and pull it down. At the same time, you're going to try and lift that right leg up. So it's going to look this. You're going to pull and lift, okay? Now, if that's really hard, I want you to pull and then try and lift that leg afterwards. Sometimes if you don't do them together, it's not as hard. And if that's still hard, just eliminate the knee lift, okay? Just do the arm motion. So, still holding on about the same width apart, all the way over that head as straight as you can get it. When you're ready, join me. So pull that arm and bring that knee up. Good. This one's hard. Working on that balance. I really want you to concentrate on that breathing. Good, almost there guys. Do four more. This is seven. Left arm stays straight up. This is nine and 10. Lower those arms, good. All right, those two are really hard. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of rest here and then we're gonna do the same thing over on the other side. So this time, that left leg's gonna go back, bend, and then pull. Or you just step back, in, and pull. You do not have to do the full lunge, okay? How are we doing? My heart rate's up there. All right, we're gonna get ready here. So going on the other side, bring your arms up if you can, and when you're ready, take that left leg back, bend if you want, and then pull. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades back together. Hold tight, good. Chest is up that whole time so that we can breathe. Almost halfway. You got about six more here. We'll take a little rest and then we'll go to that second one. You're halfway right here, five more. Remember, you do not have to do that lunge. So if you don't wanna bend that knee, that's always an option. Here's seven. This is eight. Only two more. Take a short little rest. Here's nine. And 10. Good, that was hard. Whew. All right, shake it out. I'll give you a little bit of time. This is what you're gonna do though. So you're doing your arm down, knee up. This time on the left side, all right? How are we doing? I think we're about halfway through. We're almost halfway. So big deep breath. All right, let's get into position. So arms are shoulder width apart. Bring it all the way up over your head. And when you're ready, left arm, left leg. Pull that elbow down. Good. Knee is only going as high as you feel comfortable. We look awesome. Here's five, you're halfway. We're gonna grab some water after this. This is seven and eight. Ooh. Here's nine and 10. Good job. All right, grab yourself a quick drink of water here. Okay, the next that we do is gonna be seated, okay? So grab yourself a chair. I might show it to you from the side so that you can see my full leg. All right. So you're gonna use that band. You're gonna start with it underneath your right leg only, okay? So it's underneath my right leg. 
Both handles are gonna be in my left hand. You're sitting up nice and tall, right? We're not slouched over. Right leg is straight, left leg is bent. You're just gonna gently pull back on those handles and lift that heel up and tap it down, all right? This is all you're doing. So you're working the top of that leg, that thigh, or that hip area. The tighter you pull, the more resistance you put on that leg, okay? You can do four more. And down to two. And last one, good. This time, you're gonna take that leg, rotate out to the side, I know you can't see it, and then back in. So you tap the ground and bring it in, okay? So just like that, when you're ready, you're joining me, still trying to sit up as tall as you can, out and in. You're working your outer hip now, okay? Halfway. Almost there, here's seven, and eight, nine and ten foot back to the center we sit up tall you're gonna take that left arm and squeeze that shoulder blade back okay so it looks like this it's a row so left arm pull back join me when you're ready squeeze that shoulder blade all the way back as you can five more here almost done with this side this is gonna be eight and nine, and 10. Good. This time, before we go to that other leg, I want you to take that band underneath both of your feet, okay? So it's underneath both of them. You're gonna crisscross that band in the middle and then pull it up to those legs, okay? So you're just making it so that there's some resistance on your legs. You're gonna take your right leg, tap out to the side, and back in. So just that right side. We're gonna tap out 10 times together, that's three, and four band is just underneath the bottom of my foot. Try to keep those toes pointed straight forward. Here's eight, nine, and switch sides. So left foot goes out and in. Good. Still sitting up as tall as we can. Halfway there, five to go. We're gonna alternate next. Here's seven and eight nine and we alternate so you're going to go one to the right one to the left almost through this one toes are still pointed forward chest is lifted almost there you should feel it on the outer portion of those legs give me two more each side here's one and here is two rest all right uncross that band we're going back to the beginning but the other side so this time the band is going to be underneath the left foot handles are in my right hand okay so other leg is just chilling I'm sitting up tall pull back on that band we lift that left leg and tap so just doing a gentle little tap at the bottom with that heel and then bringing it up as high as you can wherever that may be good Almost there, we're gonna rotate out to the side next. Here's nine and 10. Now we rotate, so rotate out and in. We tap that foot out to the side, bring it back in. Almost there, here's five, you're halfway. We're gonna do those rows next. This is seven and eight, nine, and 10 foot comes back to the center sit up as tall as you can this time that right arm is going to squeeze back okay so rowing that arm you're working the back muscles here and those biceps so really squeeze those shoulder blades back good five to go here seven and eight nine and 10. Good job. All right, take that band out and we're gonna stand back up one more time at the side of those chairs. All right, you need a quick drink of water, go ahead and grab one. And then we have one more little circuit to go through, okay? 
you're getting there. So we're gonna do the next one is all standing with that band. So first one you're gonna do, you're gonna have both feet on the band. So toes are pointed forward, both feet are on there, handles are at your sides. You're gonna go and give me a calf raise. So you're gonna go up on your toes and then press back, okay? So you come down from that calf raise before you press back. So palms are gonna face behind you, chest is lifted. When you're ready, push up through those toes, come down and press all the way back behind you. Good. So you're working your calf muscles as well as your triceps. Those are the back side of your arms. Good. That's number four. Really press that band all the way back behind you, halfway. That's six. And seven. Almost there. Here's eight. Nine. And ten. Good. All right. Take your feet and kind of make yourself a little wider. So uh, shoulder width apart here, handles are at your sides. You're gonna sit down for a squat, all right? And then you're gonna come up. Elbows go straight up to that ceiling, all right? So it's a squat to an upright row. When you're ready, we sink down into that squat, push those hips back, and then draw those elbows straight up to that ceiling. Good. If it bothers your shoulder, I want you just to go until you start to feel pain and then stop. So maybe that's right here. That's okay, wherever you're at. This is number five. Five more here. Six. And seven. Here's eight. Last two, nine, and 10. Good, take those feet off that band. And we're gonna go back to looping it through like a bracelet, all right? So this last one we're doing is just a little bit of stretching here, okay? So you're just gonna start with it here. Doesn't matter where you hold it, because you're just gonna raise it up over your head, do a slight pull, and then back down, okay? So up and over, pull, and back down. Just kind of shaking out those shoulder muscles. So you kind of want to have a wide grip here to give yourself a little more slack in that band. Chest is open when you do it. Give me four more. Here's one, and two, three, and Four. Good. All right, let's take that band off and you're just gonna place it wherever you would like to for now. So just off to the side, you're done with it for the day and we're gonna do some stretching here, all right? So you're gonna take your right arm and just pull it over and across, give it a gentle little squeeze and just wiggle those fingers around. We did some shoulders today, so we definitely wanna stretch them out. Give me some wrist circles here and reverse direction. All right, triceps, same side. So bring that right arm up and just gently push back on that elbow, stretching out the back side of that arm. And bring it down over to the left. So left shoulder over and across, gently pull. Just wiggle those fingers around and then give me some wrist circles here. Nice and loose. Switch direction. And then triceps, so up and over. Gently push on that elbow. And bring that arm down. Take your right arm, so left arm to the hip. Right arm, you're gonna reach over to the side and try and really push that hip over to the right side. You should feel a stretch all the way along the side of your body, those obliques. Reach as far over as you can. Hold it for five, four, three, two, up and switch. So this time left arm, reach to the right. Push those hips over to the left side. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and up. Take that right hand.
to your head and just gently pull over to the right side, stretching out the left side of that neck. Doesn't have to be a big pull, just gentle. And switch left arm, pull over to the left. And bring it back in, take your hands behind your back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really think about opening up through that chest. And just relax. And then take your hands to the front. I want you just to think about rounding through that back and just kind of creating like a hunchback here. Reach to the front as far forward as you can. stand up. If you still have that chair nearby, I want you to grab it. You're going to pull up on that right leg only and just hold. So pull it up as high as you can. If you're excellent at balance, you can let go. Otherwise that chair is there for you. If you need it, try to pull those toes up and in towards your chest for four, three, two, and put that foot down. Same thing on the left. Hug that knee up towards that chest. If you feel comfortable, let go of that chair. And just hold that, pull those toes up towards your chest for five, four, three, two, and relax. That side wasn't as good for me. All right, last thing, take a good deep breath in, bring those arms up, and exhale down. Again, we go in and out as we go down. One more good deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you had fun and I will see you next week. Bye guys.